G'day guys, Jason from The Outer Farm. I'm actually on the trial property this morning. What I want to talk about today is what actually makes quality forage. Then I want to cover the three stages of pastoral growth. And from those three stages, which is the best stage to be introducing your livestock into your cell grazing system? When should they be grazing? At what stage and why? So I'm going to start with the easy one first. What makes up high quality forage? Now I know there's going to be loads of books out there that go right into depth. But a simplified version of high quality forage is a pasture which is low in fibre, high in protein, whilst also tasting good at the same time. Oh mate, that's not fair. You could have told me mate you come in here this morning without me, butchie. I would have picked another area. That one tastes a lot better. And the single most crucial factor of determining quality forage is pasture maturity. So let's start talking about that now. There are three stages of pastoral growth. The first stage being diaper stage, the second stage being teenage stage, and the third and final stage being pensioner stage, or otherwise known as plant maturity, or sometimes referred to as nursing home stage. So the first stage you want to talk about is that of diaper stage. As you can see, I've got my water bottle laying flat on its side and it's flat out being over the top of that. So diaper stage goes from about ground level to about 25 to 30% of a mature plant's height. The plants in stage one or diaper stage have limited surface area of green leafy matter, or as I like to refer to them as the solar panel. So the ability of the plant to photosynthesize is heavily restricted. So in order for the plant to survive, it must rely on the root zone for its energy and nutrient supplies. The next stage is teenage stage. It covers that zone between the 30% mark up until the 80% height of a mature plant. As you can see, I've got my water bottle in there again. It's standing vertical this time, and it's about a foot high. And as you can see, this pasture is about two and a half foot in height. The plants in stage two, or the teenage stage, have large surface area of green leafy matter or solar panel, which is not only useful for capturing carbon dioxide, but for fully optimizing the sunlight's energy for photosynthesis. The energy harvested through photosynthesis is not only growing the plant's leaf area and root mass, but it also maximizes the energy or food source available to the soil microbes. So the final stage is pensioner stage, or otherwise known as full maturity, or nursing home stage and it covers that zone from roughly 80% up to full maturity and as for the height wise I've got my water bottle once again it's setting vertical so this would be probably three and a half foot three three and a half foot to the top of the leaf matter from there above it's just stem or stalk and seed so as you can see it's fully seeded and this has been in my paddock now for three and a half hours with the girls and they haven't touched it. I'll cover that in a minute. The reason I know it's at full maturity, probably closer to the end of life, is because these seeds have dropped. There's about 25% of these seeds have already dropped, so I know it's late in the stage. And also, a dead giveaway is, if you pull some of these leaves off, which I'm selectively picking, either gone yellow or they're gone brown. So I know it's in its later stage of the pensioner stage. The third stage, or the pensioner stage, is where the plant's leaf and cell walls become increasingly thick and woody, or otherwise known as lignification. Photosynthesis is significantly reduced as the plant stops growing, and therefore energy for growth is not required. Also, the root system starts to diminish in size. So let's talk about pasture quality. Stage one will always be the highest in crude protein and energy, therefore making it the most sensitive and vulnerable to overgrazing. Continue Continual grazing at this point strips the plant of its energy and nutrients. The root system ceases to develop, the plant is merely in survival mode, with limited to no spare energy to feed the soil microbes. Eventually the plant will die if it doesn't get an adequate rest. So let's go to the other end of the spectrum and talk about stage 3. Grazing animals halve their intake of stage 3 plants because the stomach microbiology takes twice as long to process the lignifying grass or other 
otherwise woody grass as I call it. Therefore, the combination of the reduced intake and a 50 to 60% loss in nutrition value means that stage three plants have a very low production capacity. So you may get away with running cow-calf pairs, but if you've got steers and stockers and you're looking to put on good daily weight gains, it's gonna be almost impossible. Actually, you'd be lucky to hold condition if you're continually grazing them in stage three pasture. So there we have it. Optimally, you wanna be grazing your livestock in the teenage stage the whole time because that's where it's lowest in fiber, highest in crude protein and sugar content. The sugar content's gonna vary throughout the day. Generally, the sugar content's highest mid-afternoon, about one or two o'clock, but that's a different story. But you wanna keep it in that teenage stage. I generally graze my livestock when it hits that 80%, so it's the top end of the teenage stage just before maturity. I generally see a couple of seed heads, then I know it's time to bring the girls in, and I graze it down to that 60, 50% mark. You definitely don't want to go below 50%, because then you're getting close to that diaper stage. You want to keep it in a teenage stage, that way it's going to grow rapidly back for you, so you've got a speedy recovery, and it can bring your girls in faster. So that's probably it, guys. Have a great morning, a terrific afternoon, and an awesome evening, guys, wherever you're watching us from, and we'll catch you later.